I'd like to show you how you can add sections to your Google Form. Sections are helpful in breaking up very long forms so that people only see a subset of the form at any given time. So an example that I have here is this form. This is a call for speakers uh, form that I've created. You'll see the first part of this form actually doesn't have any questions at all. It just has information. Uh, these banners here are uh, titles, which uh, just break up uh, the form into sections. And then to begin, a uh, person would click next, and that actually brings them to section one, in this case, biographical information. Uh, if I fill this out, uh, quickly, again, I'm using a lot of data validation things here to make this um, easy for me to remember and uh, get the data that I need. Um, then I'll be able to go down and select the next and it will take me to the session information and so on. So this is just a way of breaking down the form so we don't have, I call it the scroll of death, you just keep scrolling down and you're like, when is this going to end? Um, I've also gone into the form settings and turned on the form progress so we can see page three of three so they have a general sense of how long this form is. Um, there's really nothing else that I'm doing fancy other than uh, that. If I go into the form and take a look at how it is created, um, I've just gone in, added um, the first part, and then I'm using this um, icon over here on the right side. This is the Add Section button that will split the form into essentially a separate page. You can see the separation there, and it just says Continue to Next Section, Biographical, Continue, and so on. Um, when you're doing this, what I recommend is uh, you just kind of sketch out your form first. I would encourage you to actually create your sections to begin, and then once you have your sections down, start adding questions to them. You'll probably end up moving questions from one section to the other, and there's some you know, dependencies that you'll have, so it's best to create your sections to begin with uh, rather than trying to split a really long form into sections uh, if you can avoid it. If you do need to merge or adjust your sections, um, you can click on this uh, double arrow here and, or excuse me, the, uh, the three dots, the snowman, and this you'll see the ability to duplicate, move, merge um, as uh, necessary. If you have a long form, you can collapse some of those sections down, which just makes it easier to get um, to a different section that you're looking for. So that's the basic setup of sections, but there's an advanced thing that you can uh, do with your sections as well. Sometimes you're going to create a form and based on a response to one of the questions, you'd like to ask more information or take that person to a specific question. This is frequently called branched forms and Google Forms does allow you to do that. So I've created a um, lunch order form here and let me uh, go to the live form so you can see what it looks like. So the first part of the form is uh, very basic, it's just what's your name and what department are you from easy enough. And then I click next to go to section two. Now, because this is a lunch order and I know people have some dietary restrictions, I want to know, are you vegetarian or vegan, gluten-free, or do you uh, not have any restrictions? Based on a selection to this question, I'm going to skip the other two and only present, in this case, the vegetarian vegan menu to this person. So they'll make their selection and they'll click next again. Now at this point, my branch actually comes back together because everyone, regardless of whether they're vegan or gluten-free, is going to receive the same drink options. Now I could have included this same question on each of the individual menus. The problem with that is that when I look at my data, I would have one uh, selection of um, drink orders for the vegan people and the gluten-free people and the regular people. Where I just want one line item that says how many Cokes do I need to order? So because everybody's answering the same question in this particular section, it makes it easier for me to look at that data and place the order. Let's go into the form and take a look how I set this up. Um, so the first section is uh, set up as, as normal. Um, and then the important thing is once you set up your section, um, after section one, what should happen? And in this case, I want to continue to section two, so I've made that selection here. Then I'm going to go to the dietary restrictions, and I'm going to go to the snowman for this question. So this multiple choice question, I'm going to go down 
Um, this is where you would do the shuffle option order and add your description in. And I'm going to say go to section based on answer. That will open up this um, set of options that says if someone clicks vegetarian vegan, in this case, they should go to section three vegan menu or the gluten free menu. If they don't make a selection, they're going to continue to the regular menu. And so I'm going to continue on. The sections are kind of independent of one another. And then it's important that I go to each of the menus. So here's the gluten-free. Once they've made a selection here, then I'm going to take them directly to the drink selection menu. So everyone's coming back together on that last section. And because that is the last section, it will submit the form. Now, if the last section of your form does not submit it, maybe it has to go back up again, um, you would have to make sure that you're choosing the submit form option when appropriate. This can be very powerful in allowing you to get more information and make sure that people don't get form fatigue and having to look at all these questions which aren't uh, relevant to them. I'd encourage you to start slow with this feature. It can get pretty complex if you have too many branches going on simultaneously or if you're looping those branches back around. To start, I would do a very simple form uh, similar to this where you have maybe two or three branches, they come back together, and then you submit. There's lots of interesting ways you can use this, um, certainly for uh, surveys, but also for assessment, especially formative assessment. Um, you could ask a student a question. If they get that question correct, it goes to a more complicated question and more difficult one. If they get the question wrong, then it might go to an easier version of that question, almost as a diagnostic test. Um, you can do that, but again, it can get pretty complicated um, if, uh, if you have too many branches. So the key things to remember are um, to add a section to your form. You're going to click on the add section item that's on the bottom of the form toolbar. Create your form, divide it into your sections, and then proceed to add your questions uh, to the forms and those sections.